Hello and hey nerds. I normally like to stick with my Sennheiser 421, but today we'll have to make do with this slightly unwieldy condenser microphone because I need a little bit more output. Reason is that we have a couple of low gain mic preamps here, the AE839 by RFT. Now, this is something you probably haven't heard of yet. For a reason, they were usually buried in the so-called L800 system from the 1960s and 70s GDR and those systems were found on ships in public spaces schools you name it just not recording studios anyhow what makes these guys here so special I think we should find out by just popping open the hood if we take a closer look you'll see that they are twice the width of the MVA 10 and they share even more similarities Let's start with the amplifier PCB. It's the exact same one. If you look at the number, it's the uh, 83110502002. This amplifier card is based on germanium transistors. And as with all modules of this vintage, it needed a full recapping in order to come back to life. The output transformer also is the exact same one. We just have a different input transformer and we do not have the preamp card that's found in the MVA10. Then we have this inductor down here, which works as a broadcasting filter to filter of anything above 15K with a very mellow slope, I presume. <clears throat> there you go. After quite some head scratching, I managed to tap on the feedback loop of this amplifier card here, leading to a gain range of around 15 to 33, 32 dB. All this here with a proper gain knob on the front panel. And lo and behold, the thing sounds friggin' amazing. Now with the techie stuff out of the way, here's just some quick line level signal tests. Uh, an instrumental of a mix, a 909 track, some acoustic drums tracked with ribbon microphones. You'll always hear the untreated signal first, then run through the AE839. That'll be it for my part, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.